Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have the beautiful Angara with me, of course. You go away. Um, today I wanted to show you um, a Christmas tradition from my childhood. Um, I guess if you're not Scandinavian, you might think it's a little bit odd. I'm 28% Scandinavian, um, but this. I'm just here for the Able Skyvers. I'm gonna make Able Skyvers with you guys. Um, we actually didn't do a Christmas dinner at my house. We did a giant Christmas breakfast. We had all the breakfast things that are normal, but also Able Skyvers. So let's go make some. You ready? Yeah. All right, so we're back in the kitchen. Um, before we get started, someone did ask um, during my Halloween videos, what the heck is this? This is an avocado. Um, I started it, I'll have to look back. Um, I started it either, I think in like June or July. Um, it should probably already be in a planter or in the ground, but it's doing so well right now. Um, I'm just gonna leave it this way until spring and I'll put it in the ground and see how it does. Anyway, um, someone asked me what the secret to the avocado was and I think it's just patience. It just takes a really long time. What do you think? You want to you ride up front? Okay. Okay, we're gonna start the Able Skyvers. Are you helping? Oh, it's very helpful. Okay, so two cups of flour. Um, I don't have a sifter. Should we just wipe that off? Let's go away. Um, so I hope that's not a problem. Um, I have one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and I'm just gonna kind of like mix it together since I don't have the sifter. You're making a mess, huh? That's okay, because chimps like messes. Um, this is actually a pretty simple recipe. The hard part is actually cooking it. And once I cooked it for a large group of people, I cooked it for everyone on the preserve one year, and I really appreciate my parents after that. They used to make a bowl literally full to the brim for us um, for breakfast every Christmas. So thank you, mom and dad. That was actually very cool. Um, so now we need two cups of buttermilk. You wanna go back there for a second? So, I'm actually very excited about this because these are eggs from our chickens. If you guys are new to this channel and you guys have not been introduced to the chickens yet, um, go back. We have two videos of Angara playing with the chickens. Don't bite into it yet. We're going to have to crack it and put it in there, okay? That's what we're going to do. Um, chickens are actually very, very cool. And I'll tell you something right now. A chicken egg um from your own farm tastes entirely different from one from the store so um i was raised with chickens and i'm very happy that we have chickens on the preserve and that we can have these delicious fresh eggs <laughs> you silly goof okay you want to go in the back again want to go in the back again just so i can crack the eggs all right so only the yolks are going in right now so i just kind of do that back and forth until only the yolk is left and then drop it in there at least that was the way I was taught. So to me, um, the yolks are actually just a deeper color and they have a much richer flavor than the ones that I get from the grocery store. Yeah. 
just the egg whites and we're gonna work them until they start to uh, peak a little bit. So my understanding is that you just kind of like grab it and then if it actually like stays into a funny peak. Um, a little bit of a backstory on the Able Skyvers. Um, I guess there no, is no actual known origin as to where they came from, but the story I was told and the story that I like is that after um, a particularly hard battle, the Vikings went back to their ships and they were hungry and they actually didn't have anything to cook their food in. So they actually put, you know, some kind of pancake batter <laughs> into their shields which were dented and their helmets which were dented and they ended up um, forming this funny pancake ball which is what we're making today. <laughs> Alright, good boy. Alright, yeah! Okay. So we're gonna fold that in. So as you can see, um, this recipe is pretty plain, right? Um, so you can make it sweet if you wanted to, or you can make it savory if you want to. You could add cheese and probably even some uh, pizza sauce if you wanted to make it into kind of a pizza thing. Or um, what we did was we just broke them open and then we put like syrup um, or jams or jellies in it. The most traditional way I was told was apple slices and that's what Abel Skyver means. All right, you ready? Okay, we're gonna just fold that in there, okay? Okay, so I already greased this, um, but this is the pan and it kind of only has that purpose. It's only gonna work uh, as far as I can tell for uh, the Abel Skyvers. Um, if there is another use, I haven't found one. So let's go ahead and start it. <laughs> so uh, I thought my uh, camera was running, but it wasn't. I flipped these um, and I made a huge mess. Although um, I had to buy a new pan because I left my other one um, in Miami. And so it has not been properly um, used a bunch. So it's probably not as well seasoned as the other pan is. Oof. How light and fluffy and cool these are. Okay, so the second one's turned out so much better. Look how cute that is. That's perfect. Yeah! I'm good, you want to try an able skyver? Is it good? Yummy.
It looks like I'm gonna like it. <laughs> yeah. No way. Just one get. Good boy. What do you think of the Able Skyver? It's gone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Um, I also really want to thank you guys. It was kind of scary for me to start a YouTube channel, um, just putting myself out there. I just want to say I love you guys. I thank you so much for all of the love and support you've been showing Angana and myself. Um, we've gotten a, a bigger following than I would have thought. Thank you so much. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe down below, comment, let me know what you think, keep up all of those amazing um, and positive comments, and remember, stay wild. Go away.